Hello everyone. Well, I've had a few requests to do another video of this vacuum here. This is my Royal Classic Edition, model 9089. It says on the back there, it's from 1989. Made a few videos of this vacuum in the past, but it's been a while, so figured I'd uh, show it to you again. Got some crushed up chips in there. Crushed them up kind of finely. Don't really have any fine powders or sand or anything like that to uh, demonstrate the deep cleaning ability. I also don't have anything I can put in the bag's place to really show how well this thing picks up, but these things really make a name for themselves anyway, and I figured a lot of you would just enjoy the video as is. I'm also going to kind of take this opportunity to explain to you all uh, why height adjustment is important on a vacuum cleaner. A lot of new ones today, a lot of new vacuums have what's called a free floating head. Uh, some companies like to say they adjust automatically, but uh, the, the flaw with that design is they sometimes don't really, you know, agitate as well as they should. With the free floating head, there's really nothing that's putting pressure on the cleaner head, let's say on this vacuum, I'll use this one as an example here, um, to, uh, you know, make it agitate the carpet well. Here, this vacuum has a height adjustment, as you can see, which uh, you press down here, it raises it, and to lower it, this is the release right here. Um, so the way it works on these Royals and the way it works on Kirby's as well is that what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to have it raised all the way up and then you turn the vacuum on and then you lower it a little bit at a time until you hear the motor tone change and then people say on Kirby's uh, one more. The, uh, at least you're, if you're using the, test, the tech drive. On this vacuum you see has the adjusto right which sucks in just like that and let you know you're at the right adjustment so I guess we'll cut right to the chase I'm also gonna give this uh, I'm gonna go slow on this carpet give it a nice deep clean after I uh, suck up these chipped particles because I haven't vacuumed in about two weeks which is a record for me so we'll turn it on There you go. There's a little video for you of the Royal vacuuming. As you can see, it does a really nice job on the carpeting here. I know I stepped in a few places, but still. You can see how nicely it fluffs it up and grooms it. Very nice vacuum to use. Great suction. All right, well, I guess that'll do it for this video. But with height adjustment, you definitely wanna be, like if, uh, you can definitely feel a slight gap under there. Um, 
just just a tiny little bit so that it's not totally pressed down against the carpet so that um, you know there it still can it has good airflow but you want to make sure there's good contact with the roller brush now if you put it down too far you're gonna be burying the roller brush and you're gonna burn through belts a lot faster than you otherwise would be. Also, you're gonna restrict the airflow and it's not gonna pick up as well. You need a good combination of both airflow and agitation in order for these direct air machines to work uh, at max performance. So just keep that in mind with height adjustment. But as you can see, it did a really nice job on this carpet here. Thanks for watching.